Hello and welcome to Geeks or Geeks. Today we are going to discuss an application of the data structure stack and the application is the evaluation of postfix expression. So a postfix notation is actually used to represent algebraic expressions. So say if you have an expression 1 plus 2 so in the postfix notation it is actually represented as 1 2 plus which means that the operator comes after the operands so why do we use a uh, postfix uh, notation is because uh, it is actually uh, faster it is more efficient uh, so when the computer or your compiler has to evaluate an expression it is actually faster to evaluate a postfix notation than to evaluate an infix notation and uh, that happens primarily because the postfix notation doesn't need any parenthesis so it doesn't have the parenthesis so uh, it is evaluated faster. So we are going to uh, see uh, how do we evaluate a postfix expression uh, in this tutorial. So uh, let's start. So first of all, let's discuss the algorithm and then we'll proceed to discuss the uh, implementation of that algorithm. So uh, we create a stack to store the operands. So uh, the uh, in uh, to evaluate this postfix expression we are actually use, going to use a stack which will only contain the operands or the values it will not contain any operators and what we do is we scan the given expression and we do the following for every scanned element so we do these two things so if the element is a number we push it onto the stack which means that it is an operand so we are pushing that onto the stack if we encounter an operator, so uh, say we en uh, encounter two operands and then we uh, encountered an operator. So what we do is we, we have already pushed uh, the uh, two operands onto the stack. Now what we do is uh, when we encounter an operator, we pop operands from the uh, for the operator from the stack. We evaluate the operator. So what we do is we actually uh, pop out two operands out of the stack. We uh, evaluate the uh, immediate expression, which is uh, which is the two operands and one operator, which we just encountered. We evaluate it, and then uh, whatever result we get, we push that result back to the stack. So we keep doing this. So we keep keep on pushing the uh, elements onto the uh, onto the stack. And if we encounter any operator, we uh, we just pop out two operands from the stack. We evaluate the immediate expression and then we again uh, push the result onto the stack. So we keep doing that uh, till the whole of the expression uh, is traversed. And once that is done, so you will have only one element in the stack and that would actually be the final answer. So uh, let's have a walkthrough of this algorithm. Uh, with, the, with the help of an example. So if you have the expression 2, 3, 1, uh, multiply, addition, 9, and subtraction. So if you have this expression uh, to be evaluated, so what we do is first of all scan 2. It's a number, so we push it onto the stack. So the stack contains 2. Now we scan 3, we, uh, which is again a number, so we push it onto the stack. And the stack now contains 2 and 3. Now we scan 1. Again, it is a number, so we push it onto the stack. Now our stack contains 2, 3, and 1. Now we uh, scan the multiply sign. So it is an operator. So what we do according to the algorithm is that we pop out two operands from the stack. So starting from uh, here, so the elements which will be uh, popped out will be 1 and 3. So two operands are popped out of the stack and we apply the multiply operator on them. So three uh, multiplied by one becomes three. Then we push the result three back onto the stack. So now the stack becomes two, three. Now we uh, scan plus, again it's an operator. So what we do is we pop out two operands from the stack. We apply the plus operator on them. Uh, so uh, we had three and two uh, as the elements onto the stack. So we pop them out. We apply the addition operator. The result is five. We push five back onto the stack. So our stack now has just the uh, element five. 
now we scan 9 which is a number so we directly push it onto the stack and the stack becomes 5 9 now we uh, scan the subtraction operator uh, so it because it is an operator we pop out two operands from the stack we apply the subtraction operator on the operands so the expression to be evaluated will be 5 minus 9 the result is minus 4 so we push the result minus 4 to the stack now the stack becomes minus 4 so it, it has just one element that is minus 4 now because the whole expression is now already uh, traversed so uh, so we are basically done and we have just one element uh, in the stack now which is minus 4 so uh, which is the element at the top so we just return it because that is the uh, answer that is the uh, value of the expression so now we are going to see the implementation so we have a structure stack which has the uh, integer top which actually stores the index of the element at the top of the stack then we have the capacity and then the actual uh, stack which is of the type integer now uh, we create the stack so the, the, this is uh, uh, this is not a part of the implementation this is a kind of a helper function here uh, so uh, we create the uh, stack here we allocated uh, the memory uh, we check if uh, the memory is allocated fine otherwise we just return null if the stack is allocated memory then we what we do is we initialize the top with minus one which means that the stack is right now empty we uh, we put the uh, capacity which was passed to create stack function in the capacity variable uh, of the structure stack and then we allocate the memory to the array which is of the size capacity now if the uh, array of the stack is not allocated memory we just return null if we were successful then we return the stack now we have uh, four uh, utility functions here so is empty it just return it just checks that if the top of the stack is minus one it means that the stack is empty uh, peak function uh, just returns you the element which is at the top of the stack pop actually pops out an element from the stack so uh, it checks if the stack is not empty uh, then it uh, pops out an element and also returns that element if the stack was empty then it returns the dollar symbol which means that the element cannot be popped it is an underflow condition then you have the push operation which actually uh, pushes an element onto the stack uh, now coming to the evaluate postfix uh, function so we create a stack using the create stack function which we just discussed and uh, we uh, pass in the capacity equal to the uh, length of the expression and the expression was passed to the evaluate postfix function now if the, uh, the stack is empty we return minus one uh, if it is not which means that uh, it was allocated memory and everything went fine stack was created successfully and then in that case uh, we uh, we proceed with the algorithm so we traverse the whole of the expression using this for loop now with the scanned character is an operand or a number so we push it onto the stack so we use the if digit function here which returns true if it is a digit uh, so in if that is the case we push the digit onto the stack and uh, uh, we subtract the ASCA value of zero from it so that uh, uh, when we push it onto the stack because we, when we push it onto the stack uh, you do not have to uh, convert it uh, afterwards into the uh, correct value so uh, then if the scanned character is an operator then we pop two elements from the stack and we apply the operator so uh, because we have an operator now we will be popping two elements out of the stack so which will be val1 and val2 we do the pop operation twice then we have a switch case on the expression i which is the operator so if the operator is plus you add the values and you push them onto the stack if it is subtraction you subtract the values and push them onto the stack and so on for the multiply and the division operator 
so you do that you keep doing that till the whole of the expression is uh, is uh, traversed once that is done in the end you will have only just one element so you return the top element uh, by doing the pop operation out of the stack uh, so let's see the driver function so uh, we have an expression 231 into plus 9 minus so we pass the expression on to the evaluate postfix function and the output is minus 4 which is the correct output so uh, the time complexity of this evaluation algorithm is all order of n uh, where n is the number of characters in the input expression because we are just traversing the uh, expression once uh, but uh, you need to note that there are following limitation to the above implementation of the algorithm uh, the first one is that it supports only four binary operators uh, addition uh, addition multiply subtraction and division uh, but it can be actually extended for other operators as well. We just need to add uh, more switch cases. And the second limitation right now is that uh, the allowed operands uh, should only be single digit. Uh, this uh, can actually, this uh, limitation can also be uh, overcome by uh, actually having a separator in between the elements uh, like the space. So if you have a uh, separator between the uh, elements, then you can have the uh, multiple digit uh, operands as well. So that is all for this tutorial. Thank you very much.